Welcome to an interesting battery review video and what I have here today is a lithium ion phosphate battery a pretty interesting one if you ask me because it's not just a good quality battery inside this case but as we'll show later it also includes a smart BMS battery management system and out of pure luck I received this unit exactly when my car battery died and although this is not intended for that pur purpose and I do not recommend using it for that purpose I successfully and unorthodoxly used and abused this battery to start my 2 liter TDI Volkswagen several times, but more on that subject later. So like I said, what we have here is a lead time branded 50 amp hour or 640 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And if you're wondering what makes this one a better choice than other brands available these days, well, it's a number of things like better build quality safety certification and warranty lead time is a bigger brand so they can afford to produce higher quality products to sell and ship them directly from eu and us warehouses and to offer customer support and warranty for their products mine for example was shipped from their warehouse in germany and it was delivered via courier in just a matter of days and by the way full disclosure lead time provided this battery for free for the purpose of this review but they don't have any saying in what goes in this review video good or bad it will all be made public through this video so the battery came very nicely packed protected with some thick foam padding and i did have a video showing me unboxing this battery and putting it for a first spin but unfortunately i lost that video so yeah i can't show that anymore battery also came with these like plastic caps installed of, um, on top of the thermals so that's nice attention to detail that will uh, protect you from any accidental um, shorts it, it's all very professional um, I also got like a small bag with these uh, accessories which include the actual screw terminals that you're supposed to install on the battery these are very nice and thick screw terminals I think they're M8 bolts this battery is part of their 12 volts lithium iron phosphate lineup uh, with integrated smart Bluetooth BMS and we'll get into that in a moment but first I'd like to mention how impressively light this is when you compare it to an equivalent lead acid battery the actual weight of this battery is 5.1 kilogram and this is approximately the same weight as a 15 amp hour lead acid gel battery that I recently purchased for a project so it feels very light and easy to carry around and yet it packs it packs a punch because here are a few important specs about this battery it's nominal voltage 12.8 volts 50 amp hour capacity rating with a nominal discharge current rating of 50 amps but with 250 amp peaks allowed for up to one second and the recommended charge current is 10 amps that's 0.2 C the charge temperature uh, it's given as a range between 0 to 50 degrees celsius discharge temp minus 20 to plus 60 degrees celsius with low temperature protection built in which auto recovers when the temperature goes back above 5 degrees celsius its protection class is ip65 for the enclosure so no water will or dust will be getting inside it comes with a five-year warranty estimated cycle life of more than 4,000 cycles which is impressive alone but it gets even better you get even higher cycle count uh, if you don't do like depth of if you don't do 100% depth of discharge because the, the figure of 4000 cycles is given for 100% depth of discharge and it comes with FCC C and UL 1973 certifications and at least for the FCC certificate I have checked that one it is real actually granted to lead time company with this specific ID which is like mentioned here on the enclosure um, if you search this on FCC you'll find the actual report with photos of the inside of the battery so I think that's pretty impressive and I'm going to show those photos later and by the way if you're looking to get one of these or maybe a different size or a different uh, spec voltage capacity whatever because they have such a huge catalog now is the best time during black friday week you'll get the best price possible so check out the links i've placed in the description they sell chargers too and i think solar panel systems so you can 
get like a full setup from them. Now this particular lineup of batteries is advertised as targeting trolling motors or for small fishing boats but honestly I think it can power quite a wide range of applications that are built for standard lead acid 12 volts and which fit that maximum current discharge and you can just convert them using this battery. Now for example small DIY solar installations might be also a good application and just as a general purpose backup battery which will be my intended usage. So now let me give you some insight into how I use this battery to start my rather old 2 liter TDI VW Golf. This story was happening in September and it just happened that I received this battery for review and it was sitting idle, charged and then the battery on my VW suddenly died, like completely dead. It wasn't taking a charge anymore. And it happened while the car sat unused for like four to six weeks and the battery that I had installed in the car just turned two years old exactly that week and its warranty was out. So after doing a little debug work with the multimeter, I figured I need some way to start the car. So, well, I grabbed this battery and I grabbed a set of uh, uh, these thick jumper leads, hooked it up to the existing dead battery that was installed on the car and now in hindsight it would have been probably better to just disconnect the dead battery completely but you know I left it there for like 10 seconds then gave it a go and the engine started right up using this 50 amp hour battery and let me remind you that the original battery of the car is this massive 75 amp hour monster with 680 amp crank current rating and if that wasn't impressive on its own because the original battery was completely dead on that original charge that I had on my uh, lithium ion phosphate battery I continued to start the engine for about seven times uh, you know spanned across two days in total until the next day when I managed to get to a battery center and have the lead acid battery replaced which is impressive for me considering like the weight of this battery is just five kilograms so I, I was easily carrying this around in the back seat then popping it out and and using the jumper list to start the car whenever I needed so that experience alone for me makes it worth keeping this as a general purpose backup battery now of course this is outside of its intended usage and I could have easily damaged the internal BMS by doing this to it um, so I don't recommend doing this I'm just saying that for me it saved me when I needed the most so I like it for that but the good stuff doesn't stop here I also tried their Bluetooth app and it works great you scan the QR code here it prompts you to install the correct version depending on your operating system and I have to admit I don't like apps who require me to sign up just to read my battery stat status but fine I did it and the app is pretty clean and just works it shows my battery shows its serial number state of charge has a few different icons that show you everything is in balance cells are okay status BMS is okay status and also very nicely shows you the actual voltage current power and capacity measurements so if you're using this to power something you can also get a quick view of what's happening and get these stats through the app that's pretty nice and useful it's simple and it works and it also tells you the temperature of the internal sensor and how many cycles it, it has registered on the cells and the firmware version. I mean, what more would you want? It, it's like the perfect app for a battery. I also tried discharging and charging the battery back up. So for charging, I used my uh, Unity Bench PSU, which is capable of uh, connecting two of its outputs in parallel just by pressing that button and for that I get the increased current capability so I charge the battery at 10 amps for uh, discharging I used my KP184 electronic load and I just discharged at 25 amps because I'm limited by the 400 watts envelope on the load now I didn't discharge it until the BMS shut off I just stopped when I reached 50 amps and it just looked like it still had some juice left in so I don't have any concern everything looks good uh, but then of course there is no easy way to verify its five-year warranty or the 4000 cycle claim as that will only become visible after extended usage what else is there to talk about I mean it's a lithium iron phosphate and as a technology it's 
pretty mature by now and everyone knows about its advantages or so I hope. It has you know high number of rated cycles when compared to lithium ion. It has a flatter discharge curve. It's safer to handle, less prone to catch fire, but also less energy dense. So that's a disadvantage and it has lower charge and discharge current. But that safety aspect alone, I think that's very appealing to many users, myself included. And this one adds on top of the safety of the chemistry with that built-in BMS. The internal photos from the FCC filing are very interesting. They show decently clean construction. They show uh, the wires have this high temperature sleeving. Everything seems nicely insulated with heat shrink. I mean, the BMS PCB looks to be of good quality, pretty clean construction. Unfortunately, I will not be taking my unit apart because, you know, I think that would be partially destructive uh, to the case and I would break the IP rating and I, I would like to keep using this unit as it is as a sealed unit. But if you're in the market for such a battery, you should definitely check out the lead time website. I'm pretty sure you'll find your battery match with them as they have such a huge catalog of different models. And right now with that Black Friday week sale going on, these guys sell for a really good price. Um, now, whether you need one with such a smart Bluetooth BMS, again, that will depend on your application. A model without the Bluetooth BMS can likely be cheaper. Uh, and if you have like an external BMS uh, or your inverter or battery charger already takes care of that and gives you statistics, then maybe you don't need one with a built-in Bluetooth. So that was all for today. Just a quick review with a funny story of how I used this battery to resuscitate my TDI engine um, and I'm grateful this battery was around because it got me to the battery center to get a replacement on my car and yeah this turns out to be like a really good quality battery with um, some with some big company behind it that offers warranty and has warehouses both in Europe and the US for quick shipping to customers which is always welcome. As always, your feedback is welcomed in the comments below and I will see you next time.